from Israel and I'm presenting some video work here, animated paintings that I made uh, about a year ago. Um, what can I say about them? They just came from themselves and they to visit. Uh, they are in charcoal animation, um, small macabre scenes, um, and they have uh, two aspects, I would say. One is a totally, completely imaginary or conceptual aspect, and the other is a documentary aspect, because they are all based on bits of sounds I recorded here and there, uh, and displaced, and put in a new context. Uh, they are quite crude, and I would say they have an inherent violence or sadness with it. It's basically um, based on a sound bit of, of, of a cry, like you can hear now. Um, I mean, it speaks for itself, but basically it's uh, the disaster of being rich, I guess, being um, rich and wealthy. In fact, it's very hard. I think it's, a, it, and and you, you have a, an opportunity to empathize with uh, the real uh, disaster of being rich and having a lot of money. This one is called uh, affordable ecstasy, and uh, it's roughly based on uh, the story of Galileo or Galilei looking at the sun and becoming blind. But also the idea that you can get ecstasy from. Uh, kind of the small things in life, like just staring at the sun. Hi, my name is Rosalind Davis, I'm an artist, a mixed media painter. Um, I paint basically um, a lot of urban landscapes. Um, what I'm interested in is the buildings within these landscapes and how they tell a story about society, a community. Uh, they're often quite political buildings in terms of their creation and also their destruction. So I, I utilise a number of different tools in order to sort of communicate that. I use fabric, I use embroidery, and I use paint. Okay, um, these paintings are from a series called After the Storm and they're a, basically um, a reflection on Hurricane Katrina and Haiti, the earthquake in Haiti. The one on the right is Haiti and the one on the left is New Orleans. Um, and basically I was first of all very interested in it in terms of climate change and also natural disasters and the kind of epic photos that, that kind of turned up on the news. Places, whole communities, and not just one building had fallen into dystopia, it was whole communities had been ripped apart and the buildings and basically how that was then reformed. I was reading, I do a lot of kind of reading and research around all of my work, so I was reading um, uh, Zaytun, which is by Dave Eggers, which is a biographical account of the kind of aftermath of Katrina and the kind of majorly horrific things that went wrong in terms of the federal emergency relief. Um, and then obviously as well with Haiti, there were similar issues about leaving a whole society to, to just deal with this kind of major crisis and there's very... Hi, I'm Liana Moran. These are um, my drawings. Um, I'm, I've just left um, university. I've done a, a degree in fine art. Um, I'm probably going to move on and do my masters next year, but um, in the meantime I'm sort of just practicing art and uh, these are some of the drawings that I did in my final year of my degree. Um, they're based on my childhood and the relationship between my mother um, and feelings of abandonment when um, I didn't have like a uh, like a father figure in the um, in the household. So these these are kind of reflections of that, and also um, the moment between falling asleep and actually being aware of, of your surroundings. So these these really um, portray th these sort of feelings of. Um, Falling or um, falling asleep, or uh, he, here's um, a great fear of clowns I had when I was little, and um, just sort of um, visualising things in, in the um, in the dark, really, and sort of you know when you can see the light pouring in from the lamps from outside, and I used to just see things on my wall, and I used to dream of things, and this is just really an encapsulation of those, really, um, and this is basically. A, uh, my mother, she actually had a breakdown when we left the house, and this is um, just really like a like a recollection of, of that and um, my feelings towards the house. The house was a very powerful place to me.